As Americans demand change in the wake of George Floyd's death, a Wall Street Journal op-ed we thought was noteworthy. It makes the case that in order to get rid of bad cops, it's time to bust the police unions, arguing, quote, officials need the ability to fire low-performing officers and reward ones who go above and beyond. So is that a real solution, the beginning of real reform, positive reform? Here to discuss is Jack Brewer, spokesperson, spokesperson for the National Association of Police Athletics League and CEO of the Brewer Group. Uh, Jack, always good to see you. You've been a voice of reason through this entire process. Uh, I got to ask you, do you, some of the things we've been hearing about and what I just read in the Wall Street Journal, is these things that you'd like to see fulfilled? I, I, I do. You know what? Law and order uh, is needed, but law and order has to also apply to police officers. And I think uh, the nation agrees with that. Uh, we None of us like to see a bad cop just get away uh, with murder. And I think the real issue here, the reason why you see so many folks protesting, is it just takes so much time uh, to, to put a cop in jail and to hold them uh, according to the law. And once you do, when people see a cop that blatantly kills someone and they're given leave and paid leave, I think that upsets people. But the way you police is through community policing. Uh, so I do agree with that. And I do think that a lot of times our police unions have uh, too much authority uh, because really they're the ones that are behind the scenes pushing uh, for these police officers to continue to get paid leave uh, and to not uh, actually go to trial right away. So, I mean, you got to break up some of that power, uh, reform the police department, but you definitely can't abolish them. Abolishing, defunding, that's what they're talking about doing in Minneapolis. They're talking about having these cops do more for less. Uh, you know what that's like. Can you imagine starting a football season and say, hey, Kate, we want you to perform. Come in first. We're going to pay you less money. Fantastic. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I mean, let's think about this. Most of the people that you hear talking, none of them are brave enough to go out there and protect and serve the American people every day. You're talking about people who are, are too cowardly to do the job that they're actually trying to get rid of. Uh, it's just not right. And you know what? At the end of the day, it, it's not biblical, man. I mean, we, we have to ha be a nation under God and we, we have to do what's right. I mean, Romans 3 and 31 tells us to uphold the law. Uh, you can't have a lawless nation. You know, you know, it's really scary, and, and what people don't talk about enough is the fact that the folks that are going to be uh, the most disadvantaged are, are, are the inner cities and, and places that people are more underserved and don't have the resources, because that's where a lot of crime happens. And so can you, can you imagine being a single mom, uh, raising a family, and not having the police to be able to call if something goes on in your neighborhood? Uh, that's just not right. The elderly people, some of them that, that can't protect themselves, uh, fo some folks Folks can't afford a gun or, or a way to protect their own home. That's just not right. And I think we need to start standing up for the underserved uh, because, I mean, these liberal uh, policies and these uh, philosophies to, to get rid of our law enforcement uh, is really hurting our nation and it's dividing our nation. And Jack, now that, the, that we hope the looting has stopped, the violence has stopped, we can get a dialogue together to make this time different so everyone feels as though we're making progress or we've got to the finish line. But I think that's why I'm so encouraged over the last few days. We can have cool heads prevail and we work towards uh, something jointly, not Republican or Democrat. And guys like you have to be involved in it. Jack, thanks so much. Thank you so much. This is the time to come together. We can't, uh, oppression can't be politicized. Absolutely. Thank you so much. Meanwhile